everyone, it's Doris at DF Design, our my fluid art friends today. Guess what? I'm not in my studio. I am at Fearless Me TV studio. She is helping me get back to basics with acrylic pouring. Say hi to everybody. Hi everybody, Joe Patty here. Okay, so I mix I, I Painted this with black gesso. It's an 18 by 24. I'd never be able to do this in my studio for the simple fact that I don't have enough room to do it. So I'm spending the weekend with her and I'm doing some big canvases with acrylic pouring. This is basically, this is for um, my base coat, which will be my negative space. Um, it is acrylic loft um, flow acrylic. Uh, um, artist loft floor acrylic excuse me and I mixed a uh, flow troll and some GAC 800 in here and to make it a little bit thinner to make it a little bit thinner I did a couple squirts of water in there I just used a regular spray bottle you know and just did some squirts and kept mixing until it got thin enough this is painted and primed with oh there it is with some uh, Liquitex um, black gesso, okay? Gesso, gesso, however you wanna say it, okay? So, <coughs> and the other colors I got mixed, let me just show you one of them real quick. They are from Rust-Oleum. They are uh, Rust-Oleum metallic accents, and I'm going to do a ring pour on this. So, here we go. First, I'm going to put my base coat down, and I'm going to spread it around with a spatula, something I don't normally do with my, um, with my, um, um, resin. See, I'm so nervous now, I'm at a loss for words. Okay, where, there it is. So, and I don't want to make this too long of a video, which is why I kept the, uh, kept the um, mixing part out, but I'm explaining it to you. All of my paints, all of my uh, metallic paints, I've got a gold metallic, a red metallic, and a white pearl metallic, and all of them have um, uh, Flow Troll and GAC 800 in them too, but no water. I put water in this just to make it just a little bit thinner. And I'm going to attempt a ring pour, hopefully. I don't know what it will turn out to look like. And I know, see, and I don't, I still can't really edit that well, so I can't really go through this quickly. Okay, let me get it over here. Joe Patty. Am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm sorry. See, this is a lot different than um, resin, okay? I haven't done that many acrylic pours. So. Yep, that looks fine. You're going. Let's see. I'm going to get something to help you mix it from the back side. But... Did you need to leave this plugged in? Oh, no, 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 not now. Okay. okay. Uh, you don't have to worry about the edges either because it's black on black. Yep. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, see, she's my teacher in acrylics because I've been doing resin for so long now. I didn't really get into the acrylics that much. You know, they... There's a little joke in ATD. Acrylic pouring is the gateway drug to resin. Okay? And since you're not doing a really big pour where everything's dripping over the sides and you want to keep those side drips, you don't need to uh, coat the sides. Okay. Your main focus is the design to canvas. Okay. Now, does, do I need to smooth it out more? or It's fine. It looks good. And I do know that I'm just looking. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Now, 
Here is, well, excuse the paint on the outside. Here's the cup I'm going to be pouring in. I'm going to do a small layer of my black in the bottom, okay? Then I'm going to do, this is the red metallic. Um, I can't remember, I think it's called scarlet red, but what I'm going to, I'm doing it from the middle. I shouldn't have done that. I want to do a ring pour, so I should be doing it from the side. That's okay. Um, so anyway, um, these are uh, these are basically they're made by Rust-Oleum and they're house paints or no, not house paints, more like uh, furniture paint. Furniture paint. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and I will make sure that that's in the description down there. This probably won't go up. It's Saturday today. This probably won't go up until Monday. These are beautiful colors. Oh, I love them. Except for the black, the rest of it is all metallics. Because I have been dying to do these metallics in a pour. Oh, this one right here I think was called White Pearl. And then I know that this one is called, um, it's a gold. I forgot the name of it. But I think they only, Rust-Oleum only has one gold. Well, I showed you the label. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do one more layer yeah, of color. Huh? Fill it up. Use. Well, I'm going to try to make this the last right. layer. Boy, those are beautiful. It looks like a parfait in the side of the cup. <laughs> see that? Oh, yes, it does. You should hold that up and let them see that. That's beautiful. There we go. Looks like ice cream with strawberry and 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 um, other stuff yes. mixed in there. I know it's gorgeous. Makes me want to eat my paint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's been so okay. I'm not going to use the last of this gold because I knew I made more gold than the rest of it. Okay, and I'm going to top it off with. Let me grab this the right way with just a little bit more black up on top. Okay, so go. here we go. I do know I have to pour out this side. And I it's a plastic cup, so it's going to be kind of hard to squeeze. So um, about this distance. Yeah, I'm going to come down a little bit lower because the cup is so full, it's going to come out in a splat. Oh, so okay, okay. That's okay. You can straighten out that splat. There you go. And, you know, you don't even need to really rock it. If you just straight pour it, it will it will do its circle. Ah, there we go. Don't worry about circling it. And uh, and if you pour faster, you could. it's a possibility you're going to get more cells. So you're well, I don't want cells. I didn't so want cells. Pour a little this. slower. Pour slower. Because you're going to tilt it anyway. Oh, look at those. Look at those colors. Why can't I get color combinations like this in resin? Right. And let me get some and, for you to catch that. Too. No, I'll just do it with my glove. Okay. Because I, I don't want drips right there. Me. See? Always keep a wet um, wash rag of some sort near you. Okay, now first I'm going, before I even start tilting, oh, thank you, mm -hmm. I couldn't reach it. I'm going to use a torch to get rid of the air bubbles in this, and the air bubbles in this. Oh, look at that, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful mix. And you don't want to stay in one spot too long. You don't want to keep it too close. You just want to go around and get rid of your air bubbles. Okay, I'm going to put you right there. Okay, now. Didn't keep it. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was stuck. Okay. Turn them off. There we go. Don't really want to do it in a circle, circle, but well, I'm not going to be able to keep. Go to the corners. Go. 
go a corner a corner first and then come back go to one see corner. i'm not used to something moving this much because resin does not move this much well it can if you do a super tilt like jeff does and heat it up a whole lot the gold doesn't seem to be coming through too much does it no but maybe it will Maybe it'll make an appearance as it dries or as you tilt. Yeah. Oh, my poor arms. Oh. Okay. I see some gold coming out up here. Yeah. And you're getting a cloud effect because of the water we added, the amount of water. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. But the water was only in the um the metallic. Oh the black. Do we yeah. put any water in the metallic? No. I'm trying to think now. No, in the uh metallic it was uh just about fifty percent paint, uh fifty percent flow troll, then about two tablespoons of the GAC eight hundred. Sorry that you can't see it, but I'm trying to get it to this corner. Okay. Oh, that way. That way, guys. Going the wrong. There we go. Okay. It's going. I don't know if I want it to go all the way over the edge. Yeah, sometimes it looks nice and you don't have to. You can always, once you put it back down in place, you can always do on top. You can always do like a, uh, the same colors again on top and mix it. Here, just use your rag. I'll rinse it back out for okay, you. Okay, okay. Well, I really don't see... Does, is that thin right there, or what is that? Or is that air bubbles? Oh I can't tell from way over here. I think it's, I think it's a little of the small pockets, like cells. Oh, okay. Should I tilt it that way? Because I can see. I probably would. So now you're going to get a good view of it. Is it going towards the edge? I definitely can't see. Yeah, a little slow. Because this is what I was telling you about how thick the paints are. Oh. If you don't keep them thin, they get stuck. Like a, And it looks like you bit out of a cookie because you can't get it to the ends. Well, I could yeah. put a little bit of paint over there to help it, but I don't know if I want to do that and right. mess up the design. Right. Or you can, if you wanted to cover the back, you can just tilt it all the way. Tilt all the paint off and keep going around. And then you can do another small ring pour on top, and you only well, have to tilt it a little bit, and then you got a ring pour on top. Looks like you got like a little pebble walkway right here. It's kind of cool. Goes right across. Isn't that cute? Look, it looks like a pebble walkway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to get some down to that corner. Okay, come on, guy. Oh, thank you. Yes. Figures, I would try to do a ring pour on one of the biggest canvases I have. Right, and that's the hard thing because when you have a really big canvas, it's the consistency of the paint is hard to perfect. I mean, if you haven't done it before, you know. Because it's get, more tilting, more stretching. I want to get some of this black off. Onto this corner. I think it's pretty. I really Thank like you. it. So I just want to touch up my edges a little bit. So I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all your support. I can't say today that I love the resin right out of you because I love the acrylic painting right out of you guys. Okay. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, I think all I'm going to do is just touch up some of these edges with a little bit of black. 
I'm going to have to go over there or turn it. Um, so that's all I'm going to do to this one. Um, um, do me a favor, Joe. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm getting it in the camera. I want to do kind of like a little close-up. Okay. But I don't want to take the camera down. You want me to take the camera no, down? No, 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 okay. no. Yeah. You can always just wait and show the dried piece, too. Yeah, I guess that's what I will do. Yeah. Okay. So that way you don't tilt off a really good pattern that you got going. Yeah. And Because here's what's going to happen. You're going to start getting this mountain look. That this, See this right here? You're going to start getting a mountain look if you oh. if you tilt it anymore. Because you're going to tilt it in different directions. Okay, I got a question. Should I come over there and put some black on that? It's your painting, honey. You do it. Well, you I mean, I can see canvas. But I realize the canvas is the same color. Yeah, anyway, it's well, fine. okay. Sorry, we're chit-chatting about the edges. Um, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Click the little bell for the notifications. So you'll be notified of my next upcoming video. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple more acrylic pouring videos. And then I will be going back to resin probably. Because I'm going to be getting um, two new resins in. Uh, one is called Pro Glass and the other one's called Ligari. Okay. So you all have a nice day. And um, I don't know if this is going to go up by Mother's Day, but Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you have a nice day with your children. And thank you all for watching, and bye for now.